You know how people from Toronto think that Toronto is the center of the universe? Well, they're right. Jeez, I've been trying hard, trying way too hard. Jeez, I've been going hard since the freaking start. Jeez, I've been going hard for my freaking block. Jeez, all I see is knocks on your freaking block. Jeez. Toronto, you mean more to me than you will ever know because you're a city and you can't know these things, but you literally made me who I am. I moved to Toronto in September, 2015. Well, technically Oakville, but let's just ignore that year. Moved to Toronto in September, 2015, which means I lived there for five years. When I moved to Toronto, I was technically out, but I wasn't really out. I wasn't yet comfortable telling like a random coworker or a random new friend that I was gay. It took me so much courage. And I think that is because of the lack of representation I saw around me until moving to Toronto. In Calgary, maybe I saw two women holding hands like once every couple weeks, maybe only once a month. But in Toronto, I saw it literally every single day, just like, imagine what that does to your brain. Toronto gave me the courage to be exactly who I was, which is an extremely left-leaning, liberal, lesbian asshole. I met some of the most amazing people in the world, and here they are. heartbreak. I went to film school for a year program after my undergrad, which don't know if it was worth it, but I met some really cool people, so it was great. I went through trials and tribulations of my career, from freelance to being an assistant editor in documentary to eventually entering the corporate world, and I now get paid to be a video editor, which is what I've always wanted to do. Well, I used to want to be a cartoonist, and then I figured out I couldn't draw, so that's neither here nor there but I get paid to do the job that I set out to do, which is so incredibly cool to me. Not to toot my own horn here, but I did win a Rayette championship. Well, not just me, but the whole team. And if you don't know what Rayette is, then I can't help you. And you probably don't know what it is unless you're very niche. I met the love of my life on Tinder and we're still falling in love to this day. We adopted our first cat, which is a little orange fluff ball. I grew in more ways than I thought possible. I think I always knew Toronto would be just temporary, just kind of a stepping stone in my life, but that didn't make it any easier to leave. Toronto, you gave me so much. I love you so much. I don't care if that's weird to say about a city. It's true, um, but I think I'll be okay because the best part of Toronto moved to Vancouver with me. It's gonna be alright